I was working on Wall Street, and every day after after work, I would go into Brooklyn and I'd blow glass for two hours just to get my mind off what a terrible day I had at work. So Colby Lippman ditched his day job and went with his passion, glass blowing. And for three and a half years, this modest Fort Washington studio has been a place he calls home. This location chose me. I came in here after meeting the owner of the ceramic studio, and a month later, I was building this table and setting up some torches. Students, young and old alike, come here with an open mind, looking to experiment. Nothing is too hard, and encouragement is key. Glass blowing is very much a team sport. So you're never going to be alone. You never have to do anything by yourself. Um, and if you can't do something, there's always somebody there to help. The creation process involves a lot of twisting and turning, heating and cooling, and of course, blowing. Liquid glass is gathered by this metal rod when colored pieces are added. It's shaped along a flat surface and placed inside this red-hot kiln. Once the glass is hot, you can do anything with it. When it reaches the right temperature, Colby blows into it, expanding the piece. And the process repeats itself until the final product is made. I find it a lot more fun to come up with new ideas and new ways to work with glass. And in this studio, so much of that learning and teaching comes from constant communication. But while the end result may not be perfect, the beauty is in the eye of its beholder. Sometimes I think it's beautiful, sometimes I don't, but I'm always happy with it because it's the process that really matters to me. Edge Ranch by Fox, New York.